the Maz had started expanding the availability of the BIP3 and BIP3 Pro smartwatches last month, and the vanilla model did make launch on Amazon India before the end of June. The Pro is taking a bit longer, but it is finally ready to launch in the country. The Mazfit has cemented its position as the go-to wearable brand for the masses. In fact, as per a recent CounterPoint report, the company holds a whopping 4% stake in the global smartwatch market, and competes for the same slice of the pie as other big-name wearable brands like Garmin, Xiaomi and Huawei. Needless to say, the company's offerings have found their way on millions of wrists and the brand hopes to add to the ever-growing sales tally with the recently announced BIP3 series. The Mazfit has a plethora of wearables under its belt that are segregated across different series. Be that as it may, most if not all of the company's budget-conscious watches come toting a utilitarian appearance. Take the BIP3, for instance, which looks the part of a run-of-the-mill fitness tracker. Don't get me wrong, the device is superbly comfortable to wear over extended periods, which can be attributed to its lightweight chassis, that tips the scales at just 33 grams. With that said, the black colorway sent to me for review is missing for the lack of a better word to next factor. Thankfully, the watch is available in two more peppy colorways, so buyers looking to make a splash with their purchase, should purchase the BIP3 in a blue or pink after. On the bright side, the wearable touts water resistance of up to 5 ATM, so you can wear the device in a shower, or whilst swimming too. Moving on, the watch ships with a physical crown that has been positioned on its right-hand spine. The toggle offers adequate tactility, and doesn't feel mushy in the slightest, which is great. Lastly, you should know that the watch comes with an anti-fingerprint coating layered on top of the display. Display-wise, the Mazda BIP3 features a revamped 1.69-inch TFT LCD panel. The display is quite sizable so much so, it even casts a shadow on the BIP-U's 1.43-inch screen, and is the biggest display on any BIP series watch to date. Interestingly, the screen is bordered by relatively sleek bezels, and therefore, the panel doesn't come across as unwieldy or clunky. Further, the display is fairly pixel dense too, and offers a resolution of 240 by 240 pixels. I should also point out that the screen responded to my swipes and touches in an admirable fashion. The panel is quick to register all my inputs, and the display is big enough to read incoming notifications comfortably too, which is great. The icing on the cake is that the panel curves gently along the edges so, you won't feel the unit's plastic frame rub against your fingers when you're navigating through the watch's UI. Speaking of which, the wearable offers a straightforward and user-friendly interface. To wit, you can access shortcuts for the brightness, alarm, and other system settings by swiping from the top to the bottom. A swipe up from the bottom will bring up your recent notifications, whereas swiping left or right on the screen will pull up the custom widgets for the music player, etc. You can access a slurry of workout modes and other applications by pressing the crown. As is the case with most fitness trackers, the Mazda BIP3 utilizes a companion app to sync data with your phone. Dubzap, the app is available for both iOS and Android devices. The utility offers a user-friendly interface too, and aggregates all your fitness stats front and center. You can use the app to tweak various other aspects of the smartwatch, including enabling Enabling, or disabling, sedentary reminders, downloading numerous watch faces, and the works. And, since we're on the subject of watch faces, you should know that the BIP3 offers support for hundreds of gorgeous watch faces that feature unique appearances and complications. Coming to the meat of the matter, the Mazfit BIP3 can track a plethora of activities, including but not limited to outdoor running, walking, outdoor cycling, etc. The wearable can also monitor your health and give insights into your heart rate, as well as SpO2 and stress levels. During my stint with the device, I noticed that the wearable could reciprocate my heart rate readings to T. What's more, I found the SpO2 readings fairly accurate too, and the results from the watch were in line with the pulse oximeter I have lying around. More notably, while the watch doesn't ship with a built-in GPS, it latches connection to the one on your smartphone in a matter of seconds. Unsurprisingly, the wearable mapped routes admirably when I was out for a walk or a run. Furthermore, the unit even sheds a light on your average pace, calories burnt, and heart rate when you select a running activity like the treadmill or outdoor running from the watch's interface. The unit step tracking was to my liking as well, and the watch didn't add a ton of ghost steps to the overall step tally. Furthermore, the step count was on par with the results from pricier fitness trackers, like the Fitbit Versa 2 and Charge 5 as well, which is great. The watch is more than adept at tracking your sleep patterns too. To wit, the device can break down your sleep cycle into deep, light, and REM sleep. The sleep patterns assessed by the wearable were to my liking as well, and unlike some competing devices, the BIP3 tracks the overall sleep time quite accurately. It also helps that the wearable is superbly comfortable to wear to the bed as well. As for the battery backup, the wearable ships with a 280 mAh cell which, with moderate usage comprising tracking sleep and runs every day, as well as relaying notifications to my wrist, lasted me around 7 days off a full charge. The Mazda BIP3 retails for 3,499 rupees, and for the price, ticks most of the right boxes. For one, the watch is superbly comfortable to wear day in and day out. The unit can track a ton of
alternative activities too, and offers support for old A heart rate monitoring, and SpO2 tracking as well. And, while I am not quite sold on the unit's appearance, the watch somewhat makes up for it, by offering an array of stunning watch faces as well. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was interesting and useful for you. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. Have a nice day and see you soon.